you I'm doing good um, I thought I would do a voiceover of this 14 or so minute video um, I am currently working through finishing up this sketchbook um, I have about five or six spreads left in the sketchbook and I really wanted to just finish it and get it done uh, so I can move on because I feel like this was holding me back by not finishing it it was keeping me from moving on to other projects and stuff um, so yeah I decided to just get it done <laughs> um, this was supposed to be like a you know those containers that they put blueberries in and stuff it was like a fallen over bin of peaches um, and then right next to this was like a little basket of the same thing um, I'm just using watercolors the watercolors that I use are Daniel Smith um, Holbein and the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors if it's in this palette that I put together um, it's one of those uh, if there are other ones I don't stray too far from those specific ones I may pick up a random brand at Michaels if there's a sale um, but yeah I don't stray too far I loved the colors on this one that I picked um, especially this like peachy color that you see here um, I feel like I darkened it at some point but because it looks a little light but I'm looking back at this and watching my editing I don't remember um, but yeah I really enjoyed working with this like peachy tone and like muted colors it's definitely a vibe that I've been enjoying a lot more lately um, I did this on the 22nd my plan was to do this all in about a week and right now it is the 30th <laughs> um, so I didn't do it every single night um, I had some things occur during the week last week so I didn't get to do it every single night but I did record some other videos um, during that pe time period so um, I'm trying my plan is to try to work on one singular video or project each week um, this week or last week I should say was this video that you're watching here uh, this week I'm planning on working on uh, another scribble session this painting here I loved making this I loved everything about it I love the colors that I chose um, I have a video that I just posted it posted I think yesterday of me mixing the colors on that palette that just cut out of the screen um, that was a lot of fun it was a very long video very long video and uh, I could if you want to see the whole video of me mixing all the colors please let me know but it ended up being like an hour and 20 minutes long which is insane but this this was a lot of fun these colors here I'm so happy with how this turned out um, it, the greens and like there's a gold undertone with the green that I mixed that is just beautiful I kept it simple um, definitely definitely love this one So I pulled out my Neo colors for this one. Um, I didn't really like this whole spread here. There was a period of time about a year and a half, maybe two years ago now, that I strayed away from using any watercolors because 
I felt like I was bored. So I used neo colors and markers and pencils like exclusively. And I felt like that old person when I was creating this. And don't get me wrong, I love my neo colors, but while I was making this, I was like, eh, I'm not enjoying this. I, this isn't my go to as much as it used to be. I will say that there's a couple little moments in this that I like. Um, I love that creaminess of that brown. I, I don't even know what that is. Did I make a pear? I have no idea. And I really love that peach with the, like the peach color with the lemon above in the top right. Um, and this one here, I don't even know what I was doing. I'm pretty sure watching this back, I edited this the other day and I'm doing the voiceover later, but I cut a lot of this out because it was just a lot of line work. Um, I hated what I did down here at the bottom, but it is what it is. You have to make bad art in order to make good art. Um, I feel like if you don't take the time to just do pages like this, you don't learn anything. Um, that's why it's always good to take time periods of stepping outside your comfort zone and doing things that you normally wouldn't do. So, not terrible, it is what it is. This page was fun. Um, this reminded me of why I love watercolors. I loved how it turned out. When in doubt, add pink. <laughs> I love adding pinks with that green tone. Um, yeah. All right, so this was a weird spread. And you'll see why. I was planning on painting this like kitchen and um, I realized I didn't want to anymore because the colors on this table were bleeding together a bunch. And I realized that I struggled drawing this chair. <laughs> um, so I made a whole page of chairs. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Um, the, I was on Pinterest just scrolling and when I clicked on the picture, of that table there with the chairs. It's like, well, there's more of chairs here. Let's just paint a whole spread of chairs. So that's what I did. Um, I used to struggle painting chairs so much. I don't know why. Um, I think I still kind of do, but um, it's a lot better. I think it's because the angles and stuff, if you don't get it right, then they don't look, they don't look right. Like you have to get the lines and stuff correct or they look weird. So this was fun. I had a lot of fun painting all these chairs.
Red and green are actually complementary colors. Um, I think that's why I chose the colors that I did on here because shades of red and shades of green are complementary so they look nice together. And I have no idea what this little check work stuff is. I just needed to fill it in and I just drew some lines. <laughs> So this is actually the last spread. Um, I decided to go with choose some of the colors on my palette that I don't choose that often, like this really vibrant green and this really bright orange. Um, I don't typically use those colors. And then I ended up choosing like this purpley blue color for the flower portions. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I think I just looked at my palette and was like, pick colors you don't normally pick and go with it um so i did it looks cute i guess <laughs> and then this last one um there's this artist that i follow it's sarah sarah something i'll post it in the the description but um she uses paper to paint with a lot like she'll use brush and paper um to like drag the paint which i think is really cool she uses a lot more water than i did here um but i've always admired some of her simple like abstract art i think it's really pretty um so i wanted to try it out myself um this was definitely fun just because it's good to just have a page where you play with color and things like that. So if you're ever not sure what to paint, just bring out some paper, some different weird materials and paint with them. Um, I've seen some people go out in nature and paint with sticks, which is really cool. But this was fun. It's cute. And that's the entire spread. So I just do a quick flip through of all the things that I did and... Again, this was a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad to move on from the sketchbook. I'm ready to move on to other ones and start my projects that I have in mind. And I, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me. And if you're making any new art this year, definitely share with me as well. I'd love to see what you're making. <laughs>